Quick Grid allows you to quickly and efficiently replicate shapes, picture frames and text frames in the shape of a grid. This functionality has many different applications, but is particularly useful for creating page layouts. For instance, if we take this document here, we can recreate this layout using the Quick Grid function. So to begin with, we'll select our Picture Frame tool from the Tools panel and begin to draw out our first frame. I have already created some guides to make this easier. Once I'm roughly happy with the size of my picture frame, I'll then press the right arrow key five times. And we can see now that it's created five additional picture frames in a row. We can increase the space in between the frames by holding down the right arrow key, and this will slowly begin to increase the spacing. We can speed up the spacing by holding down the arrow key and shift at the same time to increase the spacing in larger increments. I can easily reduce the spacing if I've created too big of a gap by pressing and holding down the left arrow key to realign these frames. Once again, holding shift at the same time will decrease the spacing in larger increments. Once I'm happy with my positioning, I can release my mouse button to commit the changes to the grid. I'll choose to populate these picture frames by placing in a selection of images. So I'll select Command Shift M on Mac or Control Shift M on Windows to place my images. I'll locate my image files and I'll choose Open. I'll click through placing the images into the new frames that we've just created. We can repeat the process with our text frame tool. This time we'll begin to draw out our text frames and I'll choose to add two rows by pressing the down arrow on my keyboard. I'll then choose to add five more columns matching the picture frames we created earlier. Again, we'll increase the spacing of the text frames by pressing and holding the right arrow key whilst holding shift. And then releasing shift just to refine our spacing a little more. I'll also choose to add in a small gap in between the text frames. So I'll hold the down arrow to increase the spacing slightly. Once I'm happy with my text frames grid, I'll release the mouse button to commit the changes to the grid. I can now select the bottom row and extend them slightly. I'll temporarily add some filler text to these frames. And I'll apply some textiles that I prepared earlier. And there we go, we've quickly and easily recreated this layout using the Quick Grid function. As a final example, I'll create a photo wall using Quick Grid and then use the Auto Flow function to populate the picture frames for me. So I'll go to the page below and I'll begin by drawing out my picture frames. I'll make this grid five frames wide by three frames deep. This time I don't want to add in any spacing, so I'll release my mouse button to commit the transformation. I'll then choose to populate the frames by placing my images. So I'll press Command Shift M on Mac or Control Shift M on Windows, locate my images and choose Open. I'll then choose to use the Auto Flow feature by selecting all of my images in the Place Images panel and then single clicking on the first available frame. This will automatically flow all of my images into the waiting frames. And that's how to use the Quick Grid function in Affinity Publisher. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.